Hello again, it is Nicole from Shape It Up and I'm doing another live video today. Um, I figured out how to turn my iPad so it's sideways now so hopefully it'll, the video will take up the whole screen rather than have those black block black boxes say that five times fast <laughs> black boxes on the side um still haven't figured out how is it backwards if it's backwards type it's backwards in the comment section but i guess when you flip the camera around on the ipad and the phone um everything is backwards so oh well um just hold a mirror up and you'll figure out that that says shapeitupfitness.com <laughs> Anyway, today I am talking about helping things pass. And I'm talking about fiber, basically. And if you, before we get started, wait a second. If you are really interested and really liking the Shape It Up videos that I'm putting out, please head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Jump on a call with me. And I'm happy to give you some insights on your fitness journey. All right, so jumping into today's topic, which is how to help things pass. Um, so we're talking fiber. Uh, our diet in America, as we all know, is filled with lots of processed foods. However, there's a lot of whole natural foods that you can get a hold of that have fiber. Um, fiber basically helps your system clear itself out, put it nicely, TMI, right? <laughs> uh, it also um, helps you feel lighter. And I think a lot of times because of the food choices that people are making, um, this is another TMI, but you should be going to the bathroom number two at least once a day. Um, please don't leave me details in the comment section <laughs> below on that. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so, but a lot of the processed foods that we're eating today do not have a lot of fiber and they don't help move things out of your system. So when you're looking at fiber, we definitely want to look at whole foods. We're talking a lot of vegetables like, you know, spinach and lettuce and all those good stuff. Um, squash. Oh my gosh. I have a recipe for butternut squash. I like am drooling just thinking about it. Um, I've made it twice and I will post it. So make sure if you're not a fan of Shape It Up, make sure you click that like button because it will be out in one of the posts. But oh my gosh, it was so good. It's like a Alfredo-y, mustard, spicy, butternut squash thing. So yummy. And I made it dairy-free. So for all you people out there who are dairy-free, you can use that recipe. And if you're not dairy-free, you can tweak it and make it regular too. Or regular, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, sorry, I digress. <laughs> Let's get back to the topic here. Um, so fiber. So make sure you get lots of vegetables in your diet. Um, yes, quinoa and rice and, um, you know, there's certain whole, whole grain breads that you can have that have more fiber. Just make sure that when you're looking at your foods, you're really reading those nutritional labels and reading the actual ingredients in there. If you can't pronounce the, the ingredients or, um, I'll have to do a video on nutritional labels, but if you can't pronounce the ingredients or you don't really know what it is, put it back on the shelf and go ahead towards the grocery, uh, the produce section and pick out some nice fibrous vegetables there. Fruit, absolutely, you can eat. Make sure you're eating the fruit in the entirety. So if you're eating an orange, you wanna eat the whole orange. Obviously don't eat the peel, but you wanna eat the whole orange because the fiber in that orange is going to help slow down the absorption rate of sugar from the orange. So that is why having a whole orange is much better than having a glass of orange juice because they've usually stripped out the fiber. It's been manufactured and um, you know doctored up. So definitely whole fruit. Water is also gonna help things progress through the system. Movement. Right, so when we exercise, when we move, that helps get everything out. So, I don't know if you know this, but um, your body, when you digest food, it there's no real, like a, there's no like muscle pushing it through, right? So you actually have to have the muscles around the intestine and whatnot kind of moving, and it's a slow process. So. Uh, definitely better quality of foods but movement so make sure you exercise make sure you walk uh, make sure you're not sitting all day um, 
all those things combined will help with making things pass a little quicker. So there is nothing better than feeling lighter <laughs> and a little um, less full in your stomach. I know me personally, um, it's better when things are moving along. So ideally you wanna aim for 25 grams to 50 grams of fiber per day. Be aware, if you are starting at five grams of fiber and that's what you normally get or 10 and you jump to 25 you are gonna hate me so do not do that to yourself and don't hate me um, so start if you are only getting like 10 grams of fiber then slowly increase so do 15 the next day and do that for a week and then increase to 20 grams or whatever you can handle see how your stomach feels because if you go from 5 to 25 or worse to 50 grams of fiber a day you're gonna be a lot of pain. So really kind of gradually acclimate your body into eating a little bit more fiber. Um, all right, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section and head on over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call to jump on a free phone consult with me. It's only 10 minutes, doesn't cost you anything. And we'll chat about what your goals, dreams, and aspirations for your weight loss or weight inches or however you want your body to look when all is said and done. Be happy to help you out. All right, that is all for this video. And um, I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful night, bye.